welcome. Welcome to the groundbreaking for the State Route 12 Jameson Canyon widening project. My name is Bijan Sartipi. I'm the district director for Caltrans for District 4 that covers Bay Area. Uh, first of all, I definitely want to welcome every single one of you here today. We are so excited about this highway widening project from the safety aspects. Um, obviously, due to our proximity to this location, we see the trials and tribulations that we deal with on a daily basis. So we, uh, we thank for the opportunity to have this uh, groundbreaking here. We are so excited for it and uh, to be here to share it with you. Good morning and welcome to the kickoff of this very important project, projects, because this is a set of projects to reduce congestion and improve safety. Caltrans and its partners, the Solano Transportation Authority, the Napa County Transportation and Planning Agency, and the California Transportation Commission, thank you for coming out to help us celebrate kicking off this construction project. The only better day than starting a construction project is when you're cutting the ribbon on that project and it's all opened up and the motoring public gets to realize the benefits of that improvement. Uh, living here and driving on this road uh, often, I have myself have experienced the frustrations that I know many drivers have. This turns into a parking lot uh, twice a day, uh, in the morning uh, and in the evening. And we know what that means. It means that it's wasted fuel. We, we know that it means uh, dirty air. It's lost productivity. It takes people longer to get their product uh, to market. And it's been a safety disaster. Uh, and this project is going to uh, change all of that. And in addition, uh, it's going to create a lot of jobs. This is a personal highway for each and every one of us because we travel it uh, as we come into this valley and as we head back over into Solano County and beyond. An extremely important route, very dangerous, very difficult, and always on high alert whenever you're on this road. We'll continue to be on high alert once this project is completed. However, uh, it'll be a whole lot safer and a whole lot faster. It is indeed uh, a sign of hope when uh, all levels of government uh, and public citizens and private industry can all come together to make things better for people. I think at the end of the day, that's what the citizens expect. They want us to uh, erase as much as possible the uh, artificial political boundaries that divide us uh, to just ensure safe passage and uh, uh, improvements to commerce and to uh, just the, the, the quality of life that we should all enjoy. Thousands of uh, construction workers have made a living in this last six years doing Proposition 1B projects. Contractors are still in business today because of Proposition 1B at a time when the economy has tanked and private construction work in, in the private sector has, has just languished. So this has been a tremendous uh, benefit to California as we've begun to rebuild our vital transportation infrastructure. We redesigned the project to, to avoid work near and in Jamison Canyon Creek in wetland areas and minimize utility relocations. 70% of the alignment was moved from the south to the existing of the existing roadway to the north. This saved an over this was an overall cost savings of 4.7 million dollars. What I was going to talk about is the property owners in Napa County. Uh, working with our county public work staff, Rick Marshall, and NCTA, NCTPA staff, we were able to work directly with the property owners and we were able to acquire all of the property on the Napa County side willingly. There was no need for condemnation or, or eminent domains. And so I want to acknowledge all of the property owners. Uh, you know, I was kind of amused. Somebody said this is the first I heard of this project. You know, we've been working on this thing for over 25 years, trying to put the funding together for this program and bringing people together to, to really put an emphasis on how important this corridor is, not only for the safety of the residents that travel in this corridor, but uh, for the movements of goods and services through this corridor. It's a very important economic uh, improvement uh, for both Napa and Solano County. And finally, once again, to Caltrans, you guys do uh, take a lot of uh, static uh, at times, but uh, I have really appreciated the relationship and the great job uh, that you've been doing for us here in Napa County. Uh, thank you all very much.